Hello, Ken. Ken, why, why, why are you not saying sorry? Why are you not saying sorry? Well, don't you can answer something. You just uh, did, were you listening to the programme? Yes. yes. So, I mean, how can I apologise for saying what the Israeli Prime Minister said two days before what I said? Isn't it all no one's context, going to. Though, Ken, that people here have been offended. And isn't it time to say sorry to If them? people have been offended, I am really sorry about that. But they're not offended because I said the truth, exactly the same thing as the Prime Minister of Israel said 48 hours earlier. They've been offended by this group of embittered old Blairite MPs stirring up all these accusations of anti-Semitism when, as I said on the programme, 80 Labour Party Jewish members have a letter in the Guardian today saying they've never experienced anti-Semitism. We've had a handful. Uh, people who have said things that are anti-Semitic, they've been suspended or expelled immediately by Jeremy. Um, but bigots don't join the Labour Party. It's filled with people campaigning against racism and anti-Semitism. Do you accept, though, that you've damaged Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party? No, I mean, the, the simple reality is that starting a, a few weeks ago, uh, the embittered old Blair IMP started accusing the left candidate for the youth place on the NEC as being anti-Semitic. Now, that's not true. And then this has taken off and it's been whipped up. Wes Streeting, who's made all these accusations against me, asked me to come and campaign for him when he was selected to fight his seat. He wouldn't have done that if he thought I was anti-Semitic. So Wes Streeting has seen this morning, though, well, Wes Streeting has seen this morning that he's out campaigning for Labour yeah. for, at the elections. You're in a radio studio talking about Hitler. Surely you recognise that that is not something that the Labour Party wants to be talking I mean, about. Wes should ask why he and the, the, his other embittered old Blairites have wasted so much of the party's time with all this, um, these accusations of anti-Semitism, which frankly aren't true. The Labour Party has always been opposed to anti-Semitism. I mean, that's the reality of it. It's the, I mean, I think West Streeting and those embedded old Blair are MPs, what they were aiming to do was undermine our campaign so that they could then launch a, a, a challenge to Jeremy's leadership after the election. Why do you think Can Jeremy Corbyn has not spoken to you? I mean, because he's a bit busy, he's an election on. Do you not and think he's angry with you? I mean, no, I think he's very sad that all this has happened. The simple fact is... This Would you is like to apologise at least to him? Don't, if I talk to Jeremy, I'm going to do it to Jeremy, not through the media. I don't trust the media as a, a venue for communicating the truth. But the simple fact is, this is my... I'm not doing any more of this. we just got to focus on getting Sadiq Khan elected on Thursday and in other parts of the country, the other Labour candidates. So I'm... No more interviews after this. Who are the embittered old Blairites you keep talking about? Well, the ones that, I mean, I, I think you might have felt John Mann wasn't terribly happy when you were watching that coverage. You think this whole thing is a It's time to stand down if it's for the benefit of the Labour Party and Jeremy Corbyn. I'm, I'm, four years ago, when I lost the election of the party, I said I'm not standing for anything again. I mean, the only thing I've been doing over the last year is defending Jeremy from all these ghastly old Blairites. And how Do much you regret the trouble that this has brought Jeremy Corbyn and the party at this sense of course, of time? it's appalling. I mean, complete disruption. But it's not caused by me saying the truth. It's caused by those MPs who, I mean, use one thing after another um, to undermine Jeremy's leadership. And I find Labour Party members who generally are so angry about the conduct of these Labour MPs, their conduct. I mean, some of them say to me, I think they'd rather see the Tories re-elected than Jeremy and Downing Street. Now, that's the degree of anger these old Blairites are causing. You can how much is there? So will you, you apologise to Jeremy? No, I, all I ever do is answer a question and tell the truth. Yeah. But will you Ken, Ken, how much is, Ken, how much is this about you enjoying the media circus? Do you think I enjoy this? I mean, well, look, but you, 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 you no, can't stop talking about it. Well, in that case, go away and don't ask me questions. I mean, when I come out my house and there's all of you there screaming questions at me, it's not my fault. Well, you're, you're the person you who is... Would you not to stand for the NEC again if it means that Jeremy Corbyn can move on and get to votes I, in the next as I, Look, I, well, I said when Ed Miliband became leader, I'll do whatever Ed wants me to do. I've said exactly the same about Jeremy. I, I think this is what Jeremy wants you to do. You, you have to ask Jeremy. Jeremy oh, yeah. Small pictures. <laughs> Anyhow, that's the, the news, end. Ken, of Ken, this. How the news? Ken. Really annoyed. I'm not Time to say sorry, Ken. Oh, Do you think yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, all.